what is up you guys welcome back to another episode of sandra jessica chavez channel so this week's episode is going to be a little bit different i'm actually going to walk you through um kind of like take you through the steps and process of how i as a designer um when i go to a client's house and i measure the space how i transform it to be 3d um I think as a designer, it's very important for us to see the space in 3D and for the client as well because you want to know how the space is going to look like before you invest all that you know, time and design and hours, um, etc. If you're interested in seeing how Into Designer goes about this early stage of design, then keep watching the video. Or if you're Into Designer and just you're curious how I do this process, this early process, keep watching it. Um, you might learn a thing or two, you know, I'm going to be recording my screen um, and just I'll try my best to explain what I'm doing. Um, but I'm not I'm not like a teacher per se, you know, but I'll try my best to kind of go about like explaining my process when it comes to modeling in SketchUp. So let's get the show on the road, y'all. If you see the when you're doing the lines, if you see like it being, you know, green or red or blue, that means you're good. Um, obviously, because you're modeling in 2D right now, you want to stay in the green axis. Because if you do blue, that means you're kind of like modeling up, which you don't want to do right now. If you want to go down, you, you'll see it'll turn blue again because that will be kind of 3D. But yeah, it's kind of easy. Um, you'll get the gist of it as you see. What's also nice about it is if you know that, you know, these two walls are going to be the same exact length, then what you can do is just kind of like, you see these little dots, that means it's aligning, so you'll be able to align perfectly. What I'm going to do is offset this 5 inches, so I got the walls, um, and then I'm going to copy this because it's going to be the floor, 20 feet over, and then you'll see why. So I'm going to delete this, I'm going to press P for push and pull, and the ceiling height is 8 feet. So, I'm going to double click this, make this into a group, and then I'm going to move this back over because it's going to be the floor. I'm going to push pull this, let's say six inches, double click in this, make sure that everything is highlighted, make a group. Oh. Make group. Okay, reason being is every, if everything is exploded, you know, you're not going to be able to manipulate as much as you can. Um, and let's say if you need to hide the walls, you know, you don't really get the option to do that when everything's exploded because everything's highlighted. So as here, I can just be like, I want to hide the walls and just look at the floor. And you can do that. Also, like very particular, I like to have everything on a certain layer. Make sure everything's grouped. It's just the type of person I am. We're gonna go to our 3D warehouse and I'm gonna search for door. And I'm gonna find one that is somewhat similar to what she has there now. So I'm gonna look for that type of door. 
just happens, you know, to find it. There's a door swing. Okay. So I'm gonna rotate this. And then I'm gonna grab this. Sit over here. Obviously, you know, it's not fitting, so this is where you press S. Short shortcut for to scale it. So you can customize it and make it fit to however you need it to fit. And then you got your door. Nice and pretty. So you see how the tile stops over here? Yeah, we're gonna maintain that same stopping point. So I measured and what is it called? Seven and a quarter. So I'm just gonna put this line here because we're gonna have the tile continue up to the ceiling. And then over on this wall, it stopped. It's 13, 20, 25. So I'm going to make a line there to know that is where the tile is gonna stop. Okay. So another thing to keep in mind is they have a window cut out and see these little these little indents so there's obviously there's space for them to put their stuff on it's like a little ledge so I had to measure that take that into consideration because everything has to be perfect So you always, when it comes to scale, you always want to like press on the middle button. You don't want to press on the outside because then you get this, you scale it kind of like wonky. Or you can do this. You know, just always you can do that. But you know, again, stay in the middle buttons. Otherwise, you're going to get this weird wonky window. Um, and then I'm going to move this three inches because that is the space that they had on there. And then obviously going to scale it. If you can't see, press K and then you can see everything like a wireframe. And then press K off again. That is the overall model for this bathroom. Um, but that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what it is, um, like what the process is when it comes to modeling and existing conditions. There's so many details that you have to be aware of um, and all these measurements that you might not think that we need to know that it really does matter. Every little detail matters. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on next week's episode. Bye.